Hey, what is up guys? Bird here, and um, I have another tutorial for you guys that um, I was asked upon by um, somebody who saw one of my videos. Um, as most of you know, I have a video uh, showing you how to export HD in Adobe Premiere CS5. But um, some people are wondering what if we use Final Cut Pro? Because Final Cut Pro is different than Adobe. They're also made by two different companies, and the settings that you would want to use are a little bit different too. So here we have, um, I have some footage uh, filmed in 1080p right here of my friend uh, attempting the saltine challenge that he almost did. Besides a couple of uh, crumbs, uh, you'll see this video on here shortly. But um, once you get your uh, footage in the timeline down here and you have your music, I don't have any music or titles right now. But when you do that, you have everything ready. You want to make sure uh, sequence is selected. You don't want to be in a different window as in like you can see these windows highlight. You want to make sure you're in this window with this highlighted under your sequence and you want to go to file export export using QuickTime conversion make sure it's the conversion one after that you want to pick a name maybe go to desktop that's where i usually make them and make sure you select mp mpeg4 after that hit options and change this to mp4 you don't want the um, isma you just want mp4 change the video format to h.264 um, select your image size. Mine is 1080. You can do 720p if you filmed in 1080, but I wouldn't recommend if you filmed in 720, click in 1080 because then you might get a little distortion. If not distortion, it might just be uh, a little blurry. Um, you want to pick your frame rate. I filmed this in 30p. Um, video options you can go to. Uh, pick best quality. Um, you can use baseline. I usually just use main. Um, select optimize for streaming. Make sure you click streaming. And um, you can use audio and some of these. I usually don't. I keep it the same. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to move the data rate. Um, this will all depend on how your video is. Um, this video is probably a minute and something. It won't, it won't let me slide over. But uh, maybe two minutes. With a little clipping, I might be down to like 145. But as of right now, it's two minutes. So with a two-minute video, I might put this up to maybe about 2,000. But notice when you do hire this, your file size changes. If I drop a zero on the 2000, you will, uh, you'll see how little these kilobytes get. But the more kilobytes you add, the bigger the file is. So you might end up with uh, maybe like a five, six megabyte video, depending on how long. I mean, if you have like a 20 minute video, you might be looking at a gig, maybe two gigs. So make sure you keep an eye on this and make sure you have enough, um, make sure you have enough memory on your computer because if you're low on available space you uh you don't want to make it too high you might want to clear some things up by an external hard drive once you're done with that you just hit okay you uh your name will be set if it's different it might have changed because you changed the format just change the name make sure you have your location hit save um i'll say this video at two minutes would probably take me probably a good half hour to render this whole video that is a long time but you are recording in 1080p hd so you have to uh realize that in the long run that um it's going to be a lot so um i hope this helped if you have any questions or comments let me know any more tutorials you would like to see from final cut pro uh leave in a comment and i will hop on that for you guys thanks later